Garden art, yes, can add so much to personalize your garden and landscape. Huh, Landon? It sure can. It does. Yeah, so if you're wondering what do we mean by garden art, I mean plants are art, but but we're talking about those fixtures that you put in, like say bird baths, feeders, house, bird ha- breath, uh, bird houses, garden globes, statuary, fountains, all of those things that are not plant based and that they do serve a purpose. Um, personally, in my own yard, I have what we have called the goat girl goat girl <laughs> right and, it, and it's gone from being a nice statue to having sentimental value um actually two statues in my yard the goat girl was my late wife um she loved the goat girl and this was a concrete statue from portugal that at one time bloomer sold oof, that's gotta be 20 years ago 25 years ago anyway <laughs> but the goat girl is is you know kind of a running joke with the kids and but now it's become something that i just won't get rid of it and you know it, it's it's just it, exactly what you're thinking it's it's a three foot high uh you know young woman with with two goats and, it, and it's and she's the goat girl <laughs> so, best seller in portugal oh, well. anyway, <laughs> but in any case I also have uh, in my own uh, at my pond. Um, I have a it's a statue made out of zinc that I stole from my parents' house. Well, they're they're both gone now, so they, you know, way back. but it used to be in uh, it used to be in their in their backyard. And I was like, what the heck? You know, it's like, all right, I'm taking it because I'm putting it by my pond. And so um, I, I went and I and I took it. And had it rewired, and it's actually a light and a spitter. And it's Poseidon, that is a young Poseidon, that is, has his foot on top of a fish. And that, <laughs> these things are old. That, that it, I actually had one of our handymen uh, basically reconditioned it uh, for me. And uh, he looked it up, and he found it's like, it's from... 1910, wow. 1920, something like that. And it was an artist that specifically did that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. And um, and now it's it's my favorite piece. I mean, it, it, I put a dust to dawn light on it. So it's on when uh, at nighttime and it's just, I just think it's got, you know, family heritage. I mean, it, you know, they got it long before I was ever born. Right. So, you know, we're talking probably a hundred years old. At least we'll see. Anyway, so those types of things, you'd be surprised on, on how sentimental. We were just talking about Laura. Yeah, we were. Laura, Laura's putting in, uh, that she, Laura's uh, here at the station, and that uh, she was telling us about a new statue that she just purchased that she's having put into her garden. Um, it, it's, it's something that adds, I guess, a personal touch to you to your landscape um a lot of times that you'll see where somebody will use like a boulder it's like all right well here's a big bed and then there's a big boulder in it and the boulder just kind of a boulder you know okay you know where statues fountains bird baths birds play a big role uh in the landscape and it's because they both eat the insects that attack our plants but they also eat the seeds after our plants uh, uh, drop their their flowers. And we'll go into that later in in the segment, so make sure you stay tuned. How about, do you have anything that you have in your garden that's like you would consider an an art piece? No, I don't have anything like that. Well, thanks, Julio, for (laughs) contributing. I'll keep talking, man. I I do have one item. Oh, see, he said no, but now he does. But But it's not really a... What is it? It's a rain gauge. There you go. That's one. That counts. Does it count? Absolutely counts. (laughs) Rain gauges. I mean, all right. So, so, and like almost on the same thing, like think like you get a a breeze in the garden, right? Uh Weather vanes are the oldest weather instrument used and that they just basically swirl in the wind, telling you which wind, you know, you need to know which way the wind's blowing. blowing. Yeah, that's right. (laughs) You know, wind chimes, uh-huh. and then there's all those kinetic 
wind catchers oh. that that move and, and do different things. Uh, awesome. That anything that that there are like just posts that are made out of resin that are brightly um, colored with yeah. with designs and things like that. I, I think I I think that those those are great. But start thinking of adding something like this to your garden. They're just to help personalize it. And and it looks like if you just have all plants, it's nice. And obviously we love plants, but adding that little touch of uniqueness yeah. that comes from you, your your family, you know, that it it brings something special yeah. to the landscape. Different dimension. Like, yeah. Yeah. A different dimension. That's yeah. a good way to put it. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. And gosh, you know, solar lighting, oh, solar lighting has become big, so cheap and it actually works. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. I had taken, uh, and I'll tell you, I bought them at Sam's Club. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not embarrassed. <laughs> they were on sale for 20 bucks wow, and there was geez. three uh, spotlights. I jammed a spotlight, a solar powered spotlight under my waterfall of my pond oh. so that at night it comes on and it... From underneath, underneath, it illuminates wow. the actual waterfall. Pretty yeah, cool. Pretty and cool. it works. It works. It works. Wow. No electric. Oh, yes. No electric. <laughs> no electric. So get something in your garden that makes it yours. You know, uh, the plants obviously are, are the biggest part, but God, get something that, that may be... It's meaningful. Yeah, you know, it, it is. It is something yeah. that that's, uh, that will surprise people when they see different. it. Yeah, a little different. 